In some low-income countries, over half of children leave school with poor reading skills. And even in high-income countries, 15 to 20 percent of school leavers struggle to read well, and that leaves long-lasting impacts on their lives. Speaking comes naturally to the vast majority of children, but reading does not. Children need to be taught how to read, and for decades, debate has raged over the best way to do that. My research with Kate Nation and Anne Castles has unpicked the science of reading and how we learn to read. We looked at scientific evidence gathered over around 30 years to propose a balanced approach to reading instruction underpinned by a deep understanding of how humans learn to interpret written language. Reading is important. It provides access to knowledge, to work, social interaction, and even democracy. Our research indicates that reading requires three sets of skills, each of which is multifaceted and complex. Learning to crack the alphabetic code, becoming a fluent word reader, and understanding written text. To learn to crack the alphabetic code, children need instruction, helping them to link letters to sounds, and we call that phonics. Phonics provides a necessary foundation for the other vital skills of reading, becoming a fluent word reader and text comprehension. Mastery of all three sets of skills enables a child to read well. We translated our research into concrete recommendations for teachers in a highly influential article titled Ending the Reading Wars. This article provides an accessible, evidence-based framework for reading instruction. Despite being published just two years ago, it is already transforming reading policy and practice around the world via influential organizations such as Deans for Impact and the World Bank, as well as state governments in Australia and the USA. The work that my organization does is to work with programs that prepare people to be teachers, and we are using the research of Castles et al. as part of what we um, hope new teachers will know and understand, particularly around the cognitive processes of how young children develop literacy. It's manifesting itself quite literally in the knowledge and understanding that teachers have, and um, they are thinking about what it means for their practice. Today, around the world, educational leadership organizations, publishers, policymakers, teachers, and parents are talking about the science of reading, and more importantly, changing reading policy and practice.